All right, budget magic time. Playing some Enchantress in Modern. And this hand is actually pretty decent because we have double Utopia Sprawl, Arid Mesa, so Forest and Utopia Sprawl on white. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks Arid Mesa. If this is burn, the combo of Nyx Flea's Ram, Blind Obedience, and Ivory Mask. Oh. Alright, never mind. What is this? Jeskai? Blue White? Um, let's. Nyx Fleece Ram? Resolves. Evolving Wilds, go. Snow Covered Plains. Well, let's crack our Evolving Wilds. Get a. Forest. Start gaining a bit of life. Uh, let's Utopia Sprawl. Normally it's better to load all the Utopia Sprawls onto the same land, but our opponent could very likely have Ghost Quarter, and then that's much worse. And then we will a Blind Obedience. There's a Spell Snare. And then Utopia Sprawl. Uh, white, white. I guess we just set it on white again. Pass the turn. Alright, so it is Jeskai. Uh, let's just Sphere of Safety. Resolves. Pass the turn. We need to get down Ivory Mask to prevent burn spells eventually. Also, Nahiri is very good against us. Thankfully, we keep gaining life, which is helpful. Well, now that we have two Ivory Masks, let's want, run one out there. Maybe our opponent just doesn't have counters. Another land for our opponent. And passes. We keep gaining life. Well, let's just... Courser? We're making a lot of mana with just these two lands. Forest off the top gains another life. And pass the turn. Opponent cracks Scalding Tarn. So they can't burn us. How do they beat us? They can't attack with Celestial Colonnade. They probably have to start plowing through our enchantments eventually. Loot House. So we gain a life. Ooh, Luminarch Ascension is sweet. Let's get in with Courser. Opponent takes it. Um, how much mana do we have? Six? Alright, let's just play a second courser. Pass the turn. Opponent has Secure the Waste, uh, which isn't that threatening with a Detention Sphere out. What are they going to do? All right now it costs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine. What's our opponent have here? Something with a lot of mana. <laughs> Elish Norn, a eh? interesting. That was unexpected. That makes all of our stuff a lot smaller. Uh, so we have a window to resolve Starfield, but then. That puts us at risk of getting killed by opposing removal. Uh, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's just Ivory Mask. Luminarch Ascension. And pass the turn. The problem here is if they can get rid of Sphere of Safety, all of a sudden we just die very quickly. And Nodes isn't great here because... We'd have to kill three of our creatures before we get to do anything else. So we're kind of just hoping that they can't kill our sphere of safety. At least yet. And that's the problem with Starfield. We play Starfield, then they can then they can just like path it or whatever. So our opponent's gonna go wide, but they still haven't really found a way to. Well, it costs infinite to attack, so they can't really attack us. We start to get Luminarch Ascension counters. On the other hand, we don't have any real removal. 
Well, let's play a planes off the top. Gain some life. Ghostly prison. And I guess we just passed the turn. Well, it's all about the sphere of safety. They need a detention sphere or something along those lines. If they don't have that, we're kind of fine with all this stuff they're doing, and eventually we get to start making angels. And not that, not that far in the future. Well, another ghostly prison. Pass the turn. And now with double ghostly prison, they have to actually kill sphere and then the ghostly prisons. All right, they bounce for your safety, so they figured out a way around it for the time being, but they still have to pay four to attack with a single creature. Unfortunately, we're drawing an Arbor Elf that'll just immediately die, so they can theoretically attack with two creatures. And then they gotta counter our sphere on the way back down. Uh... So they have to pay 8 to attack, but then they can't really leave up a counter. Alright, they're going to leave up a counter by the looks. Alright, our opponent gets in for 4. We're just going to take it. Down to 27. Gain a life. Well, Evolving Wilds. Gains us some life. Replay Sphere of Safety. Alright, opponent found a negate. Well, let's pass the turn. The question is, do we play Starfield? Starfield does get back our sphere of safety. Opponent's continuing to go wide with tokens. Ugh, the problem is Starfield animates all of our stuff. We lose Luminarch Ascension. Alright, let's chump with Nick's Fleece Ram. I think we actually want to focus on turning on Luminarch Ascension here. Because that gives us a steady stream of creatures. Crack Evolving Wilds. Get rid of that land on top. Get a Plains, I guess. Doesn't especially matter. Another Courser on top. Up to three counters. Uh, let's play Courser. And pass the turn. So our opponent have Cryptic, maybe, to... All right, they bounce one of our ghostly prisons. So that's going to give our opponent the ability to attack with more creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can attack with four creatures next turn. And they ultimate the Elspeth. So they can hit us for a bunch. Main deck Elish Norn is pretty annoying. All right, our opponent gets in with the flyers. So we take a beating. Down to 21. Terramorphic on top, play Terramorphic, gain three. We're also winning the the time game. So let's go sleep prison. Cone's going to Snapcaster the negate. Alright, so ghostly prison down. Let's crack Terramorphic. Get a forest. Another forest on top, unfortunately. Play Eidolon, just draws us a card, immediately dies. And, alright, pass the turn. Well, Story Circle is interesting. Opponent goes with Path. We are not going to search up a land. We want the Story Circle. Can our opponent kill us? If they have an untapped land, they might be able to. Wall of Omens, odd choice, takes up Elspeth, they must be looking for a counter, M wow, they are desperately looking for a counter, I guess they realize if we resolve, yeah, they're going to get in for six, okay, but they don't have counter mana up, another sphere of safety would be pretty helpful. Well, let's play the planes off the top. Gains us a couple of life. Story circle on white. And pass the turn. Snow covered island for our opponent. Makes some more tokens. Well, they have all the creatures they need. 
Unfortunately, we're drawing and evolving wilds. So our opponent gets in with a Snapcaster. Yep. So down to 17. Opponent passes. Well, let's play a forest off the top. There's another ghostly prison. That's somewhat helpful. Can we risk playing Starfield? This is a big question. Uh, Nodes doesn't help us kill Snapcaster. I think we just got to pass. Elish Norn is really ruining our day. All right, Sphinx is Revelation, X6. Draws our opponent a million cards. Does it draw them into answers? Another colonnade. Makes some more tokens. Goes to combat. Gets in with Snapcaster. All right, down to 13. Opponent discards. Another secure the waste. Uh, we get a forest off the top. Oh, there's fear of safety. Ghostly prison. Opponent has another negate. Um, yeah, I think we just got to pass. We're in a fragile spot if they can get rid of Story Circle, which they drew a ton of cards, so like a cryptic. All right, another smaller Sphinx's Revelation. Oh, uh, Sphere of Safety, if we resolve that, is pretty good. Wall of Omens draws our opponent another card. Another Wall of Omens. Man, we're so close, we just haven't quite been able to get there. Loots with Desolate Lighthouse. Oh, what are they looking for? Are they trying to find a cryptic? Plays a snow-covered island. Opponent gets in for six with Snapcaster. All right, down to nine. Opponent passes, has to discard some cards. They can't Snapcaster in a gate. Pitches Kitchen Finks and Hollowed Fountain. Well, actually, let's uh, let's tap correctly. So your safety. Did you find another counter? New. No. All right. Then Evolving Wilds gains us two. And now we just pass and see what happens. Path to Exile, a Courser. All right. We'll get a land this time. Opponent's getting close to ultimating Elspeth a second time. Wow, they can't even attack. That caused infinite. Oh, I guess they can. I guess they have just enough mana that they can attack. All right, so we take six. Down to six. Steam vents. Tapped. Now let's crack Evolving Wilds. Get a Plains. Another land on top, unfortunately. Well, let's play the nodes. Play Canopy Vista. Gain a life. And I guess we just pass. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Make some more Elspeth tokens. Gets in with Snapcaster. It's going to take all our opponent's mana. Or almost all. Alright, down to two. We lose Courser. We Eidolon of Blossoms. Draw a card. Starfield of Nyx. And Starfield of Nyx. And pass the turn. Opponent pass our Sphere of Safety. We'll get a Forest. Ultimate's Elspeth a second time. So our opponent's going to win, but they've just played way too slow. Attacks with Snapcaster. And alright. So our opponent got there. Their problem is it took them... About 20 of their 25 minutes, 18 and a half of their 25 minutes to win game one. So that's not super encouraging for them moving forward, especially when we get some more stuff like Nevermores and Open the Vaults and maybe another Sphere of Safety. We would have had them if they didn't have that single Snapcaster. So we can go down Ivory Mask, go down the nodes 
and maybe the Nyx Fleece Ram and try it like that. Alright, we get to play first. And, ugh. Okay, well I guess this is fine. We can get green mana with Evolving Wilds. Tap land for our opponent. Well, crack Evolving Wilds, get a forest. And then plains. And fertile ground. Pass the turn. Island. And a wall of omens. Alright. Well, that means we get to run our Eidolon out there. Which is the one thing we didn't really get to do last game. I mean, they'll probably just kill it, but still. So, Eidolon of Blossoms draws us a card. Ooh, Blind Obedience is not horrible. So they're probably going to have to path our Eidolon. I assume. Tap land. And, alright, passes. No path. Well, let's start with Utopia Sprawl, our forest. Add green. Draw a card. Alright, let's play a planes. And just Sphere of Safety. Draw a card. And pass the turn. Opponent passes. Well, one, two, three. Three, four. Eidolon of Blossoms. Looks like our opponent has a Cryptic Command. Hallowed Fountain. Untapped. Goes with Counter Bounce. Interesting. Well, that means we just Luminarch Ascension. Draw a card. And pass the turn. Snow Covered Mountain for our opponent. We start getting counters on our Ascension. Well, first up, Utopia Sprawl, our Forest. Add green, draw a card. Courser of Crufix. Draws a card. Another Eidolon on top. And then Ghostly Prison. Draws a card. Wouldn't mind hitting... There's a land. All right. Play a land off the top. Ooh, and a Nevermore. Pass the turn. Is this mini rev? All right. Secure the waste. Sure. I guess that's a start for our opponent. Snow-covered island. Still, attacking's not easy. They can't really attack. We get another counter. Uh, all right. Let's lead with... Forest off the top of our deck. Gain a life. Eidolon of Blossoms. Draws two cards. Utopia Sprawl on green, I guess. Draw two cards. Nevermore. Are they going to counter the Nevermore? Counter draw. Okay. And then Blind Obedience draws a couple more cards. Man, we drew a lot of lands in a row. So, pass the turn. Wanted to get that Nevermore down on Elishnorn, which is pretty obnoxious because it kills both of our Eidolons. Opponent just passes. We get another counter. We're one counter away. All right, so first off, Courser of Crew Fix, no extort, draw a couple cards. Ghostly Prison, no extort, and our opponent scoops it up. Yeah, we're going to draw another Nevermore and then play the Nevermore, and our opponent's running low on time, so... Whew. Well, you can see the difference in the deck. When we get Eidolon of Blossoms going, the deck is extremely good at digging through its deck. We, we are way outdrawing the Sphinx's Revelation deck. Although, when we don't have it, or when our opponent has Elish Norn, it's much worse. So I think we're just going to run it back like this. That worked really well. Alright, game three against Blue-White Control. Alright. Risky. Risky, risky. Tap land on turn one. 
not a lot of great ramp. Evolving Wilds, a goo. The real question is, can our opponent kill us before they run out of time? So Evolving Wilds, get a forest. Land? Well, uh, let's Arbor Elf, Plains, goo. Aired Mesa, opponent passes. So, fertile ground on our forest. That draws out a path to exile. We'll untap the forest in response. So it doesn't really do as much as our opponent was hoping. Um, I guess we just get a forest. And then play another Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. Island. And passes. Well, let's tap, untap, tap, play a courser of crew fix, get a forest off the top, gain a life, and then nevermore. This is going to draw out the cryptic by the looks. I think we would have named cryptic had it resolved. Counter draws. All right. Pass the turn. Well, we have a lot of our heavy hitters in hand. Tap land for our opponent. And passes. Uh, well, let's tap. Untap. Tap. And sigil? If they got a counter, they gotta spend it on sigil. All right, another counter draw. So they're down two cryptics. Canopy Vista, gain a life. And Story Circle on white and pass the turn. Sacred Foundry for our opponent, tapped. All right, Verdict, Rass everything. That's actually fine, because we're actually going to get to take advantage of Starfield for once. Starfield of Nyx. So good. So good. So I think this means we win. Unless our opponent can deal with our Starfield this turn. Loot House. And passes. So we get back... Um... Let's get back Nevermore first. And name... Secure the Waste. And then Eidolon of Blossoms. Draws a card. Turns on our stuff. And Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. I guess another Wrath here would be pretty good for our opponent. Goes looting. I feel like we're pretty far ahead, though, now that we got a Starfield. Alright, there's a Supreme Verdict, but that just slows us down as long as we still have Starfield. So, yeah, that's fine. So we just get back Eidolon, draws a card. Go with Courser, draw a card. And then Ghostly Prison. Goes with Path on our Eidolon. That's fine. We'll get a forest. Gains us a life. We get to play planes off the top. So I think we're going to win by time. But I also think we're very likely to just win this match if it wasn't for our opponent running out of time. Because they don't have many ways of dealing with Starfield. And that's the GG's. Whoo! Sweet! Well... <laughs> Control should be one of our harder matchups. We're good against creature decks. Control should be one of our harder matchups, but we're still winning somehow. So, sweet. I guess the deck is decent.